Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine Welcome back to Vicky Loves You because I do 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 or may I say Camila loves you. Alright guys, so you clicked on this video or you swiped up or you went to my link in the bio to get this makeup look. If you don't know what this makeup look is inspired by, you need to follow me on social media so you'll know. So follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Please and thank you at Vicky Loves You. Please and thank thank you times two anyway so I am recreating this look from Camila Cabello I'm probably gonna say her last name wrong but she is gorgeous she is beautiful she is so unique and she's herself even though she's a famous she hit her music is so relatable she's like the new T Swizzy without the boy drama I but I love you Tay Tay don't worry I love you Tay Tay you helped me through high school okay so if you want to see how I got this I look inspired by Camila then continue watching all right guys let's get this look started and just so y'all know I'm no makeup artist or I do not look nothing like Camila because she is gorgeous but we're gonna try today so the first things first we're gonna start with eyebrows I'm definitely gonna just do one eyebrow on camera and the other one off camera so I'm just gonna just do that okay y'all so from what the picture I see it's definitely very dark and it kind of just goes down in her natural brows they don't create an arch or anything like that they just kind of just make it darker so I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow and just I'm using this eyeshadow palette and I'm using the black shade and I'm just going to comb in my eyebrows with the black eyeshadow. Alright, so they are bushy and dark. Not saying that she's bushy or dark eyebrows. Um, but what I'm gonna do is kind of just make my eyebrows stick up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go under it with concealer and kind of just fix um, on the bottom and then we will be right back. Alright, so now that my eyes are prime and my eyebrows are good, we're gonna go into the eye look. So I'm using this photo. It's the it's one of the shots that she took within um, that photo shoot. So it's the same hair, same makeup, just different outfit. And it's a better look for me, so I'm able to go off them. Just in case you are wondering how the freak am I figuring this out. So it sees it looks like she has um brown in the crease and then light uh, colors on the inner corner and the lid and she has a wing liner very tiny so we're gonna go in with something very light um for the crease and i'm thinking of going in with the Too faced gingerbread palette in shade gingerbread latte this one right here and we're gonna put that directly into the crease crease okay so let's do so basically you're just going to put it in the crease and just keep blending it because I don't see a second color um, for the crease area and the outer corner so this is basically it then we're going to go on to the lid so I'm using that same palette and I'm using spike eggnog and I'm just going to use my fingers and then just put it on my lid and then after I put it on my lid I am going to get a semi fluffy brush and go back in with the eggnog and then bring it into my inner corner 
because she, she has it in her inner corner and it goes all the way up to right here. Once you got it all the way where you need it, it's time for her to put eyeliner. This homegirl gotta put the hardest thing on. But the good thing is, it looks like she's not wearing falsies. Which is, thank you hallelujah, because I suck at falsies. So let's go in. I'm using the Tarte Mag Eater Liquid Liner. And what she has is she just has a little wing. So just a little wing right here. And then it's very, very dark along the waterline. And she also has it in the bottom. So let's begin. Like very little like that. That's how little her wing is. And then just bring it across. Yes, Lord, you be faithful. And you want to bring it all the way to the inner corner. Just be careful. So basically, that's what you want to do for the top. And we'll do the bottom once we finish the face. So let's go into the face. All right, guys, time to get into the face. So I just primed my face. And right now, my go-to primer is a voila speaks for itself and plus I don't want to say the name wrong yeah I don't already I don't know the name but it's okay so I'm gonna go in my with my ride or die because she's very dewy very very dewy um it could be Photoshop but from what I see she's very dewy so this is my dewy foundation it's a true match Lumi healthy luminous makeup from L'Oreal and it is in the shade C4 I believe I did a review if I did I will link it up right here so let's go in All right, once you are done with foundation, and just look how the foundation gives you a natural glow. It's kind of what you want to go for. Um, if you're oily, I would try this at home. Oh, oh car. I just try to be funny, okay? Okay. So we're gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna contour with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow by you know Wet n Wild, my ride or die. And me and her have a different nose. Hers is more like a button nose, so I'm really going to try to contour my nose today. Y'all know I don't do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is my face, and then we'll go into the nose. Oh, she has like a diamond-shaped head, and that's kind of how I do. I have a defined chin, and she does as well. So we're good on that one. Um, but our nose are definitely different, so we're definitely going to try to contour the nose and I'm gonna put my highlighter in the center and then we'll blend it all out so I'm using the uh, fit me concealer in San Sable as my highlighter and let's blend it out and see how it happens y'all Let's blend out the base and then we'll go into the nose. So I'm going to use a brush for the face and then the sponge for the nose. I don't think that made a difference. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to try it off camera. Bear back. All right, y'all tell me if this is different. If it doesn't, it's okay if y'all don't have the same nose as long as the eyes, the face, they look the same, okay? But if it looks wrong, tell me in the comments below. And if y'all know any way how I can learn how to contour this nose, let me know down in the comments below. Help us sister out, I. All right, so I'm gonna go in and go over that cream contour with my Tarte Park Ava Princess bronzer. This is literally my ride or die bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush, and this is from it's a foundation brush from Bamboo Naturals. And I'm just gonna go over it. She doesn't have any blush on, so I'm just kind of using my bronzer as a blush. See how they're two different shades, so it kind of gives an illusion like I'm putting blush on, but I'm not. 
I'm simply just putting bronzer on. And you want to get as broad as possible because she is very bronzy. Bring it down to your neck. Alright, so let's move on to highlight. So she has a very natural glow, so I'm going to go in with the MAC Soft and Gentle. And we're going to do it on the tip of our nose. So I'm going to go in again with this brush. Just go and then just put it right on the tip of the nose. Give it an illusion, hopefully, and then right here, clean it as well. And then let's go ham on a doll face. So our highlight is right here instead of right here. So that's an interesting spot to put it. And I didn't put any concealer on. Um, I don't see it on her chin. Oh no, I do. So she has it on the outside of her nose. So we're going to put it in the outside of her nose, right here. I'm um, guessing it's on the other side as well. And she has it on her chin. So let's put it on the chin area. As so. And let's move on. Okay, so now it's time to put eyeliner on the bottom of the eyes. So this time I'm going to go in with stick liner and I'm going to use my Bare Minerals um, round the clock waterproof eyeliner and this is charcoal. So I'm just going to get a sponge. Y'all, I'm so messy today. Alright, I'm going to pull it down, put it on my waterline. Just the corner you don't want to make it depend all the way in then you're going to do it to the other side so go do that all right once you're done doing the other eyes we're going to go in with lipstick um in one of the photos she's wearing lip gloss um but in the bit the photo that we are trying to recreate it is lip gloss but her life her lips are very pinkish and mine natural color is kind of like um, purple and so just to get the right lip color and then we're also gonna wipe it off but just so that it has that stain on I'm using um, lipstick queen in the shade Paul Pawn Dawn Pawn I don't know if y'all can see it but if y'all can't I will write down below if you need me so just comment and I'll tell you okay <laughs> So we're gonna let that sit so it can stay my lips and we'll go into um, eyelash. So basically for eyelashes, you can definitely use any mascara you want to. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal um, Unlimited Mascara and so let's begin. In volume, well, they only have a high, I don't know. I don't know if you can see the volume. I'm definitely gonna go in with a volume, volumeless mascara. This is kind of like a thick wand. So I'm just gonna brush in the lashes. And bam, lashes are done. Got no, got no worry about that no more. So now we're gonna wipe away the lipstick. I just dirtied my jacket, yay. So now we have like a pink lip. And what I'm gonna go over with it is my Wet n Wild lip gloss. It's kind of a gold tint. And I'm just gonna go over it. And this is basically the final look. But you know your girl gotta do her hair like her. Gotta get my hoops and gotta get my dress. So I'll be right back.